Fanatics. Draw me out, that could pay in a pick. I'll be on your roof, call me Saint Nick. Caesar with me too, going ape shit. Gorillas in the zoo, we had to break shit. What's good, people? I go by the name of Clue, the landing, NFTR. You know what it is already by now. Go like, go subscribe to the channel. With me today. Well, you know what, for me, this is a personal one, you know, because growing up, where we come from, you know, the streets, the culture, um, the person with me today is somebody that can tell it to you probably the best. And that's a statement within itself. My brother, Jaja Souls, oh, is in the building. <laughs> Real pioneer, yeah, yeah, entrepreneur, Respect. activist. Respect, my yeah, activist, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Elaborate that's on this activist yeah. thing for me, because you know where we're coming from yeah. before we you break it down. It's just how I grew up, you get me? Like, yeah. it's just like, um, I grew up in a very like revolutionary household, you get me? And mm -hmm. I've always, I've always, I've always been told like to make sure what you're doing is a cause behind what you're doing and you're fighting for something. Um, and that's, that's, just, that's just stuck with me my whole life, I'm mm -hmm. saying to you. So my activism is more like, I'm always active in anything I'm doing. So whether it was street culture, um, business, I'm just acting, I'm act active in it and make sure there's good results coming out of it. Right. Yeah, that's always been my thing, like all the time, like just being active in what I'm doing and make sure that there's um, good results. Um, cause a lot of, I think, so say for instance, if, if like the, the cause for like the young youths, one of my things is to, um, for young youths is to make sure that things that I didn't have in place when I was coming up, like I didn't have access to certain things. Mm -hmm. So you know what, instead of me moaning, I always said, no, I'm going to make sure certain platforms are in place yeah, so yeah, the youths yeah. can do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Instead of saying, well, why is that not there? Why isn't that? Let me be active and put those platforms yeah, there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of how my activism is kind of like, I'm active in that kind of area. And that was installed in you, what would you say, family? Mums yeah, that was and pups? Yeah, that was here from mums and pups. My mum was active and my dad was active. My dad was like proper mm. active. Like um, he's, he was like Jamaican background, but always going to Africa and... I was I'm saying to you, he was active in everything he was doing, I'm yeah, saying to you, yeah, so yeah. yeah, that was like, I just saw it in my household and around, yeah, so yeah. from young, I was just exposed out. to it, yeah. Car, I must say, bro, like, for me, I feel like you're a leader um, amongst men, and I, the reason I say that is because, bro, um, the infamous PDC, yeah. for me, some, someone from Southwest London, I feel like when we talk impact, when we talk giving a man their flowers, the reason I wanted to get you here today Bro, I, I don't think we've seen a movement like that, bro. Mm, yeah. Like, I'm going to keep it a thousand. Yeah. Like, I don't think we've seen a movement like PDC. So how do you manage so many different characters? How do you yeah, it was, keep that together? It's mad. Bro, well, no one's ever asked me that before, no. It's mad, like, there was, at the beginning stage, like, there was so much people to kind of, like, and there was so much personalities. That's it's oh, it was hard. Mm. Oh, especially when, imagine dealing with, like, 20 plus people dysfunctional mm -hmm. yeah dysfunct everyone's got dysfunctional backgrounds and mm -hmm. um pride and ah oh, it's a madness and and it's, it's mad like we're dealing with like like 20 active people like that are active on the road and whether it's robberies or drugs or whatever they, if everyone's active and then you're trying to like that like change that mindset out of out your, your brothers and your friends mm -hmm. oh that's a, that was a challenge in itself so at the beginning stages I think one, one thing for us, um, when I was coming together with a lot of the Mandan from PDC, because it was so organic and it was so, it was, it was through, it was through struggle. Mm -hmm. It was like, it was organic. It wasn't like, oh man, come together. It was like, right, it was like, it's like universal. It was just come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without it, trying to um, like put it together. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that was one of the things, but then to change everyone's mindset in PDC at a time was, was hard for me. I struggled. I fell out with some of my friends and a lot of, there was a lot of falling out because of the, because of that, trying to change the mindset or help kind of like yeah. guide a different direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've always had that, I've always had that problem. Um, but I was, all, I just saw things as, you know what, I'm going to lead by example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm saying to you. So obviously, a lot of things, um, I opened the door for a lot of things, so I, I had to always hold a criticism. Right. So Everyone I, came to you yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, I've always had the backlash of everything. Like I remember when I, mm. when I first wrote my book and people were saying, well, you're dry snitching. And the book's about my life story, though, so I can't, I can't dry stitch on my own life. Like, but they didn't understand because they just heard book. Mm -hmm. And at the time, when people didn't know that, that people were writing books like that. Now everyone's That's doing right. books and audios and podcasts. Now it's all right. But when the, the first person does it, it's like, i got to take all the backlash. So all the stuff I was doing, I was taking all the backlash. A lot of the stuff I've done, yeah. even though people might say, well, Judge, you pioneered this, you've done that. But I took backlash at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I had to be that first person to get, like, punch up and get me go through right, it. Right, yeah, right, yeah, it's like yeah. sometimes. So 
I've just, I've just been that person. I don't mind doing that. That's what I was going to say. Because yeah. you come across like it's normal, but yeah. it's not normal, bro. Yeah, I just got used to just being that person that just goes through the door and just gets punched up first. You know what I want to say? That's, that's, <laughs> you know what I say? Yeah. That's crazy. And even you touched on the book. I was going to chat to you about your book card. That's crazy, bro. Like, you're coming from yeah. the streets, you got a book. Yeah, that's but what I'm the bit you touched on, seeing probably... Because I used to hear things mm. from yeah. my side of the exactly. walls. Oh, Jaj has got mm. a book out. Mm. And you'll get mixed reactions. You'll get the people saying yeah. cold. Yeah. You're going to get the people saying, man, it's dry snitching. Yeah, exactly. What I would say then and still to you mm. now, like when man say dry snitching, if you're talking your truths, mm. where was the dry snitching? Exactly. How does that, yeah, so, how do they, how yeah, do they come with that? So it's, it, and I've always said that. So like you get a man like, I've been at a time like you have a man like Jay Kess and them man all in America. People over there doing their books, mm. same thing. But, Everyone's bigging it up, but then I'm from when a man from your your area does it, yeah. it's like raw. Yeah. He's not allowed to do it. Yeah. But I think that was just more ignorance because they didn't understand it at the time. Mm-hmm. So when it now everyone's like bigs it up. Oh, that's dope. He was the first one, but at the time mm-hmm. that was again that reaction. No one wasn't. Yeah, but that now reaction. they show mad love. I'm saying to you, then now I'm a second book and I've done that one called The Power of Love, and it's a whole other angle again. They're like raw love. Man's talking raw. Where's man going with that? Like, like that the man threw man off again. Love, you know like, I don't <laughs> yeah. understand the man. Didn't imagine all yeah. like, We don't know about but love. But it threw everyone off. Like raw. Yeah. That man talking about love. Like that threw everyone off again. But it's 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 a deeper perspective of love. You get me? That a lot yeah. of us didn't have in our life. I'm saying to you. That's why a lot of us made certain decisions because we just come from a place where there's no love. Mm-hmm. Like when I was growing up, like there was no love. Like what? Don't that's show man no love. No, there's no weakness. That's right. We're savage. Like that's yeah. just how it was. Like we grew up yeah. like yeah. straight yeah. raw. Yeah. I'm saying to you. So that, but that there was no balance with it. And I, and I'm, and what I'm trying to show is that we need the balance of it. Yeah, I'm saying to you, you can obviously straight masculine, that's man's naturally masculine, mm-hmm. but you have to also have a balance. Mm-hmm. I'm saying to you, you have to understand the love side of, of um, your powers. Mm-hmm. I'm saying to you, so that's where I've tapped in with this book here. And what? Is that out now? Is that coming out yeah, soon? Yeah, that book's out now. The that's book. the power of love. That's what that's out now. That's, that's out on all the Amazon everywhere. Digital platforms, that's everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's your second book? That's my second one. Plans, plans on my third book? Yeah, my third book's coming out this year. So I'm you know saying. me, I don't play around, you know. I yeah. don't know man that's got books out. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, that's a crazy <laughs> achievement to me, bro. Um, yeah. And congratulations yeah, to you man, for that. Respect. But back to, let's go back yeah. timeline. Yeah. Did you start PDC? Yeah, so no, so okay, this way it is now. So mm. at PDC literally um, it started off with a term called Pickle Them Crew. So the olders, like some of the older lot from Brixton had, they was, there was a lot of robbery. So the serious man then was doing certain things. Yeah. Um, and the, the phrase Pickle Them, Pickle Them, like Robin was, that was thrown around. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, what it was, they were the older. So we be, the, me especially being the youngest and some of the other ones, we took that on board as well because that's, that's our olders. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we yeah. started saying Pickle Them, Pickle Them. Right, yeah. And then, it kind of like what it was, I was one of the main ones that kind of like pushed it. Right, right. Yeah, right. so that's why everyone thought Judge started it, but I didn't start it, it was from the olders. Yeah. I'm saying to you, but it's... But technically you started the movement. Yeah. Or was the olders calling yeah. themselves so, Peel Them Crew? So Peel well. Them Crew as, a, as the, the, the street one, I didn't start that. I was like, yeah. That was a movement already. So yeah. I, just, I was part of that though. Yeah. yeah. And then as Public Driven Children, as a rap collective, that's, that's, that's mine. You created that's me, that. Yeah. Was, was you a part of 28s? You know, I wasn't 28 either. That was your oldest. Yeah, that was, old, that, was, that was some of the oldest. Not, not all of my oldest, but you, so you had, you had 28s, you had younger 28s, and you had younger, younger 28s. Right. So I used to roll with some younger 28s and younger, younger 28s. Yes, yes, so yes. So people used to think I was a 28. Because naturally you're naturally with the man there. there and they're from Brooks and you get me? Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm saying to you so, but I just wasn't, I just wasn't um, 28, but I was always around them. So we grew up tight, I'm yeah. saying to you so. That's what, yeah. what PDC was, yeah, that was my thing. I was always from Angel Town, Brixton. I was just a Brixton man, I'm saying to you like. That's what I was going to yeah, say, Angel Town, yeah, your part of yeah, Brixton, I was right? Brixton, yeah, I was just like, because before it was like, there's, um, you got the, you had the twenty eight snap that you had like Brixton man them that was just like, yeah, 30 Brixton man, whether they're from like Stockholm, Mightsfield, Summerlayton, Tolls Hill, Akeling, that was just Brixton. Linked up. They, yeah, they linked up. up. That's a Brixton yeah, man them. I'm saying to you. That's and then within that, you got 28s as well, but you had the Brixton man them. So cool. I was more part of the Brixton man them, like as that year yeah, and yeah, Angel yeah. Town. So that's kind of like where I came into it. Robberies at 15, bro. Yeah, mad. Bank, yeah, bank, bank, mad. banks yeah, and them. That was mad. I was saying there was that. The 28 set, set a whole trend off with the um, robbery and that back in the days, and everyone was. The whole of. London, everyone was talking about the 20s, it was a madness. And obviously, was, me being a young really dude was. looking up to that, I'm saying, Yo, yeah, I'm saying to you, when I'm seeing that, I'm saying, Wow, this is a madness. See, the man, them in it's, they're just making mad money. And then, and then, obviously, our little section we had like um, Shabby Abbey, Shabby in the Abbey. We started calling ourselves Shabby in the Abbey, and we was doing a madness. Is I'm saying to you, me, my friend Cluffy, and a couple of other. Other ones, and we was going. What's Shabby in the Abbey? What's that? that? Like, As in the Abbey yeah, National? Abbey National, yeah. 
so I was saying too short, yeah, I was saying too short. Yeah. And, then, and then this was like the 90, 90 I went first went jail 96. Crazy. Like this was like 95 and, and then all the men they went jail for like bank robberies, like everyone went jail, everyone got caught, um, mad sentences. I mean, at that time when we was like 14, 15, mm. man was getting like, people was getting sevens and fives. That was a big thing I was going to say, were the numbers still crazy them, them time there? Like, that time, remember, to get a seven them times was a madness. painful. It yeah. was pain. Yeah. So man was getting crazy numbers. I'm saying to you, so when I was like, uh, I was 15, 15, just turning 16, um, me and some of my brethren, like, we, got, we, got, we got nicked and we got, I got three years, one got four, one got five. Yeah. And at the time, that was a big thing, I'm saying to you. So, mm-hmm. like, them sentences was like big yeah, sentences yeah, them times. Yeah, they're birds, yeah. So, um, yeah, and it was, yeah, it was obviously, it was, we, we come, that, that was kind of our come up. I come up in, that's how we come up in that kind of scene. And, yeah. and then, obviously, it was in, then when I come out, the music thing popped off. Because when I come out um, in 98, first time, I was doing, I was actually doing promotions. I'm saying to you, I was linking Meg and I was doing a lot of stuff okay. with a lot of people. Yeah, I was okay. doing a lot of like with a lot of artists. That's why you might hear other artists that big me up now and again because mm-hmm. I was I was um, booking them and and I've done some mad shows. I went back in the second time and when I went back the second time, that's when the music kind of like I was doing the music the first time, but because there was no platform, no one wasn't really taking it seriously. Mm-hmm. And then the second time I come out and then it was just like we just it was went crazy. I'm saying to you, and there was. At, at, a lot, at that time, a lot of people wasn't even... I mean, you start to be 30 to be even rapping. Yes, yes. You know I mean? yeah, and that's what yeah, I want to touch on, yeah. Let, so you couldn't just rap, yeah, remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a different ball game. Like, man's like, bro, I, you, you can't, man's all banning you. Like, you can't rap. Like, you can't... Certain man wouldn't let you rap. You know what I'm saying to you, it was a different ball game. Like, you couldn't just, just rap. Like, and especially if you're representing the street culture. Mm-hmm. Like, man's like, bro, who's that? Mm-hmm. You can't just do that, I'm saying mm-hmm. to you. So I remember that time when there was... There was only certain man about. I'm saying to you that I remember. I'm saying I remember you first coming down. I remember you coming down. I remember yeah, you coming yeah, down. Yeah, and I remember, I remember that. Certain yesterday. man. I'm saying to you. Yeah, I remember yeah, certain yeah. certain man coming down. I'm saying yeah, to you. I yeah. remember the time when certain man wasn't even. They was they were even coming Brooksen. They were scared of Brooksen. So I remember the people that used to come Brooksen. I'm saying to you. So I remember you coming down. Check the man there. Yeah, I remember you yeah, coming down. Yeah, boom, yeah, yeah. Good facts, um, Blade facts. Brown. I remember certain man coming down. You get yeah, me? Where yeah, a time yeah. where it wasn't man could even come to Brooksen. And, and what you're saying there, let me touch on something because that's a Fendi, what you're saying, that's a fact. Like, Brixton was notoriously known for, you don't want to be just stru- just just rolling and strolling exactly. through Brixton. Exactly. If you ain't got someone that you're connected to in Brixton, it's like, you don't really want to go Brixton. Exactly. And that's from, like, you lot had the streets from, it feels like, from when I was like 14. Yeah, that it was a madness. Brixton yeah. had the streets, PDC yeah. had the streets mm. in the sense of like, the movement was crazy, the numbers was crazy. Like, so I don't even know how your mindset, you're, you're coming out of jail doing promotions. How, what's that, from family again? Yeah, it was my, what no, installs I, that in your mind you know to say, I'm going to come I, out and do and this? All, you know what it was, yeah, always, because you know what it is, yeah, people always think that um, man was just bad and savage. Man, I was never, like, I grew up, I, I was always into reading books and I grew up a different way. I, I wasn't, like, man wasn't just bad. You got your GCSEs and all them things? No, that's what I didn't get. I went to so I went to 15, 15, so, so you I missed out. Get, you missed out on all like, that. I, I, haven't, I haven't got no... No education things. All my education wow. stuff came from jail. I have no school education, so I, I missed the whole school thing. So all anything I do have on paper was when I got it in jail. That's like I done, crazy. I'm saying I done my um, business courses and all that in jail. Yeah. I'm so I got all this jail stuff. Nothing to do with like um, school stuff. Uh, actually, in school. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. do no the end of school stuff where everyone gets happy and sign the shirts and all that. I missed all that stuff. I'm saying to you so, yeah. but at the, I was never, I didn't grow up in a like, like a, a, a bad boy. I'm not a bad, bad person. I wasn't an evil person. I'm mm-hmm. saying to you so, I always wanted to do good. Mm-hmm. It's just that man just love money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm saying to you, man just want money. Man just want to make money. Man's, man's come from a struggle. So man's looking to make money. Was man willing to do bad for the money? There you go. So man yeah. was doing bad for the money. For I'm the saying money. to you. So yeah. it wasn't because man's like... But there's a purpose at the end, purpose, which is the money. Yeah, so you it understand? wasn't just like, well, man's just doing badness. Bad for fuckery. Yeah, yeah man just yeah. going outside and saying, well, we're going to go and just do madness today. Yeah. Like, I wasn't like that. It was like, well, there's, there's, man was doing stuff to make money. So anything you heard, like, well, judges is involved, that's because there was some money somewhere. Right. Money, there was something to do with money, money somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get it. It was a goal, like, we're going to get it. And we're going to get that to do this. Yeah. I'm saying to you, so... Yeah. It's mad. It's mad. There's, um, there's, imagine one time there's a, one, one older man, them like the plug. So um, he must have come to me and said, well, boom, boom, I wanna, um, you're the man on the street right now. So boom, I'm going to bust you, you get me? So mm-hmm. boom, man, bust me. Obviously, man just jerked the plug. Man just took it, you get me? Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, man was young, wild, you get me? Yeah, man, yeah. man ain't getting that back, you get me? But obviously, boom, years later, fam, I'm in a meeting, I'm going West End, you get me? Mm-hmm. I'm walking with some normal people now, corporate people. Boom, I see my man in the road. He's like, raw, judge. I was like, raw. He's like, you know what? 
don't watch that. Like, you say, I see your growth since then. You get me? He's like, well, you know what? I love what you're doing. He's like, it's mad. He's like, I saw one interview. You said you had to jerk something to to push into the music. And he the said, shoes well, fit him. He said, well, that was my, that was the time you done it for me. Yeah, and I yeah, said, that yeah. was the time. He's like, right, you know what? I respect that, you get me? And mm. say to you, and he showed me mad love, I'm saying to you, but mm. he was a shot, cause I was ready to, he was going down. Yeah, it was going, yeah, I yeah, thought he was yeah, going yeah. down, you get yeah, me? And, yeah. But that's, that's, that's the things that I had to do coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, I had to like, cause I didn't, there was no like, I didn't have no sponsorship or no, not, there was no links. Yeah. So I had to jerk a couple plugs and a couple, yeah. and it wasn't like jerking like, Eat at people. Some serious people. Some serious people, people yeah, you get me? Yeah, I'm saying yeah, to you, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a madness. I'm saying to you, it was, like, it was, a, it was a serious what, time. What made you comfortable to, to, to finesse or rob certain um, serious people? Or what made you feel like it's not a problem? That's like, how I can handle you know, this. Was it? That's how dedicated I was to the vision in my head. Mm. Yeah, I'm saying to you, so he put me in. So other man was like, nah, no, I'm not rolling our judge. Like, he's moving mad right now because okay. he's, just, he's just taking from some serious people. Yeah. But it was because the vision in my head, where we, where we need to go and what we need to build, was more important. And we need money to and do that. We need money to do that. I'm saying to you, so it mm. was never, uh, mm. it was never like well, some show off thing or bad boy thing. It was yeah. like, well, like, I'm, I'm all jerking money and I'm not, I'm not even going shopping. Yeah. Straight to like, the bills need paying, I need to get this building sorted out, this lease needs paying, this needs paying, I need to do this website. Mm -hmm. And I was literally doing that and the man in part was nuts. Mm -hmm. Like, well, what are you on fam? Like, mm -hmm. no one didn't really understand what I was doing. Because yeah. at the time, everyone was on a rude boy thing and the roles was, was mad at that, so. But that's kind of, there's similar things like that that man had to go through to, to build what man's got now. I'm mm -hmm. saying to you, yeah, man, it's not, that's, it's not like an easy thing. And what, the independent in you, is that always something from young or? Yeah, yeah, Do you know what it is, yeah, I've you, just... You've done so much, bro, independently. I don't like, you know what it is, yeah, I'm, I'm also, um, I've, I've, I've always, from my young, I've had a problem with the, um, like, see this, like, schooling and authority. Yeah. I've had yeah. a problem with authority. A lot of us yeah. have a problem with authority, you yeah, get me? Yeah, that's true, that's And true. I've always had, that's probably, that could be one of my weaknesses, it could be a good thing, but it's, it's, I have a problem with their authority, the way they speak, the way they... The way they do things, I just never rated it. I just didn't like it. So that kind of always made me have to think because I'm like that. Now I got to think alternatively in a different way, mm. and that's where my independence has come from. So mm -hmm. because, yeah, I just when they do stuff or like even or label deals or certain things, I've seen. I'm like, bro, they're not even kind of showing me no love. And maybe if we done this way, it's harder, but we will have a better outcome. Mm -hmm. So my head's always thought like that. I'm saying to you, it's like it's, it's like if you was doing like shotting or whatever back in the days and. You, you got from the plug. Mm -hmm. My thing will, oh, I'm only want to get from the plug a little bit, then I want to go back and purchase. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying to you. So, mm -hmm. with certain amounts, just sign for life. Yeah, That's what I'm saying yeah, to you, yeah, where, and they're yeah. not, not really getting nowhere. They're not growing or building. Not growing or building. Yeah, yeah, so I'm the man yeah. that will just get, try and get it once, and then after that, now I'm going to try and do it myself and move forward. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, with aims of being the plug or bigger than the plug, I'm saying to you, make the plug come to the plug's going to start coming to me soon. Yeah. I'm saying to you, so my head's mm -hmm. always been like that. Yeah. And that's, 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 the, that's where the independence kind of come. Come in. Did the streets teach you anything like today? Like um, you looking back on your little career that you've had through, cause you've been through a lot, bro, yeah. and you've done a lot. So, what's the streets taught you that you carry with you today? Do you know what is um, a lot of the a, a one thing that's that I learned the hard way though was patience. I didn't have no patience, bro, and I think a lot of us on the streets we didn't because it's things come so fast when you're living so fast. I I would I was driving like nice cars and and more bikes. I had Rolex when I was young. Like I, I remember having a Rolex here, and no one didn't know what it was. Uh, that's that's mad. I'm saying to you, no one like no one even know that what that was. Crazy. It's mad. Like I walk around, like, man, thinks you know what watch. I don't even know what that is. That's yeah. like that's when I had it. I was young. I was I think I was like four, you know, fifteen when I had it. Like yeah, yeah, no one even yeah. know what that was. Yeah. I'm saying only certain thirty people knew that what that was. Mm. The young used to know what that was. So mm. I walk around with man with rollies and none of know what that is. That's the same to you. So I've always had certain things. That's just that's just how I've been. Like just had certain things. My mind's just been in a certain place. Um, and that's kind of like that's where that's kind of that's where the um, the angle's always been with all my stuff. And what coming because you came down from Birmingham, right? Yeah. Birmingham tougher than London. Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, see, <laughs> Brom always had the be, Birmingham, Manchester because they've always had like the kind of gun things being thriving down there for a hot minute. I'm saying to you from mm. before um, mm. when I came to London, it was more when I first come to London, it was more like the yard man them. The yard man then was more like on a on a gun thing, like the yard man then, but the 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 normal in, English shoots wasn't on it as much. But yeah. some was on it, but you had the, you have one and two. Yeah. Whereas in Brum that was standard. Everybody like the, the just... big boys, the big man then, but the matches were standard. I saw like I'm I'm in, I'm in Brum in my house and 
my mum's friends coming in and putting the, the mash on top of the fridge. Mad. You get me? Like, and that's I, I grew up in a household Mad. like that. I'm saying to you, so yeah. I'm, I'm a little youth trying to like when they're, when they're talking, I'm trying to sneak in the kitchen and trying to grab the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're growing up in that household. I'm saying to you, my mum's friends are chatting. My mum's, mum's friends are coming to ch- check her and that and. I can see something poking out their jackets and I get me saying, well, what's that? You get me? I'm saying to them, what's that? They move, little you, man. You're too fast, get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just grew up in that that kind of environment. He was intrigued. He was intrigued. Yeah. Yeah. So when I kind of come to Brookson, because people always say, well, you went from um, Answorth straight to Brookson, that that, that big chain. I'm saying, no. When I first come to Brookson, I was kind of used to that environment. I'm saying, so I kind of blended in quickly. Mm. So that's why a lot of Brookson people that like, well, my man just came from nowhere at a young age and he was just like, bam, mm. who's this guy? Mm. I'm saying to you, so, and, and don't get it wrong, you know, remember there's people, even in Brookson, that don't like me now. I always say to people, people think that this is bare love. It is love, but there's also people that don't like me. I'm saying to you, that's because they had, there's a foundation of people that was already doing, they, they grew up together. Mm. I just came out from Birmingham. Right. So they always had a little animosity Towards you. Yeah, because I'm not really from, I didn't go to the same primary schools as them or something. No, they're not the ones that there's a yeah, set of yeah. people, uncles, aunties, that they, they kind of run in the place. Mm-hmm. And then this guy's kind of come and he's kind of not, like, he's not really, he didn't grow up with us, but he's, he's getting ratings. So they've always had, so you've had certain people that's had yeah, animosity, yeah, 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 but they can't yeah. have direct animosity, but I just know it's there. You get me? You know the ones there, like, you can't tell me nothing, but yeah. just, I you know just, it's there. You're holding resentment yeah, towards so, me or something. I've always had to deal with that as well in Brookston. I'm saying to you, like, some people don't like me, and but I just, like, you know what it is, what it is. As long as, see with me, I've always been a person. As long as you don't come and touch me physically, I'm all good. You're good. I'm good, fam. I got, I'm good. I'm saying you're that. in Brixton, but ain't your, you, you own the studio. I'm do you own that studio yeah, in Brixton? I own that studio. That's my, that's what I'm saying to you. I'm, I don't I'm, know, I'm a businessman. Bro, see what me? artists do we know that's that own the you. studio in there? That's what I'm saying to ends, you. Bro. So that's, that's how I am. You know, I've always been business. I'm always, one of my main things is business. I always tell people, like, fam, focus mm. on business. Mm. I've always been like that all the time. From when I was a young youth, I was saying, right, we got to do this, but we got to put into something. we got to yeah. have business. And yeah. I've always been like that, like, from a young youth. Like, I don't play no games. Like, I just want everything to be business. Like, we, 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 in order to grow, we have to have our business in check and in order. And I've just always, I've all, I'm always learning. I'm always learning. I'm always going to meetings. I always speak to people. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I love, like, speaking to, like, older people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying to you? Because mm-hmm. what it is, they've made loads of mistakes. Mm-hmm. So they can tell you the mistakes they've made. And from that, I can learn from their mistakes. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I'm, I'm one of those people that I always do that. I, I always got mad respect for my elders, mad respect for them. And anyone that's come before me, like, you know, know what someone said to me? Rod, like, see, Jan, see, you do interviews sometimes. Like, you big up, you big up rappers and that, like, cash, like, but it's like they don't, they don't really big people. But I'm saying that's because I'm not insecure, remember? I'm not, like, I'm not in competition with no one. Yeah, yeah, so I can, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. go on an interview and big up Clue. I can go yeah, on there and big yeah, up Mega. Yeah, I can yeah. big up Gigs. I can yeah. big up anyone. Yeah. I can talk highly of anyone. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not insecure. how does that affect you anyway? That's what I'm saying to you. It doesn't yeah, affect me. Yeah, like, yeah, well, if I see yeah. a man doing good, I'm going to big him up. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, I'm like that. Mm-hmm. Anybody, if I see anyone doing good, I'm going to shout them. Mm-hmm. If I see a local youth doing good, Hail him I'm up. shouting them. Yeah, like yeah. saying so, like I shout youths from anywhere. Like I big up youths. You see me under people from Peckham's comments yeah. or any. I big yeah. people up because yeah. if you're doing good, I'm bigging you up. Yeah. I don't care. I don't. I don't care about pagan stuff. And all. I don't. I don't care about all that stuff. I'm. I'm a big man. Mm-hmm. So I show people love. I'm saying to you, and I, I love seeing youths doing good. I love all that stuff. I'm saying to you, and that's just in my character. You see that narrative of what you just said a second ago about respecting your elders. Mm. Do you think that that's lost today? I th- yeah, I think I think it's 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 it's, lot, it's it's still there a little bit, but I think a lot of the elders don't. Their representation of what they're doing is why it's because it's also how they carry themselves. A lot of the elders carry themselves wild as well, and they they act like the young youths. Right. So because they act like the young youths, the youth see them as one of them. So they're not looking up. You're to looking up to them. It, you're yeah. looking yeah. Th- this way to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not like that. You're it's, doing it's, what I'm doing. So yeah. yeah, you're doing exactly yeah, what I'm doing. Yeah. Like raw. Right, you're yeah. you're you're like fifty or something banging. Yeah, so you're yeah. just like me. We both got pagans. We, yeah, so yeah. Where's the, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Where does the growth and that come from? You. Like, see for you, like someone that's been in, seen it all, bro. Um, when did it hit you to like, that growth, or it's always been in you? It's always been in me. But she, one thing is the when I went prison, and I saw certain older man them in prison, bro, doing life and that. Mm. I was like, fuck that. Man, don't want to be doing no that. No way, bro. Like after that, I'm thinking. After all that represent, all that representation, all the rep you got, and what you was doing, and then you just in jail now, like just in jail with the green blankets and your milk and that. And, and but you know what's crazy? I feel like every gangster, every top man, every stand up man um, knows that they don't want to go back to jail, yeah. but they're willing to do what they have to do. Yeah. But it's like at some stage that narrative's got to change. Yeah, what's that you, with age? Or? That's, that's I think it comes with age, and it comes with it comes with a few things. It comes with um, 
It could come with a woman, with children, mm. family, it comes with loads of different things that, um, and a change of environment sometimes. Sometimes a man will move from, you know what is it? A man will move from like Brixton, Clapham or Peckham and move to like Luton or somewhere, an outskirts or something. Mm. And that will change his whole mindset. The whole thing, yeah. yeah. He, he will wake up now, fresh. he comes out of his house now, he feels good. It's different. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, like, well, yeah. I don't have to wash my back. It's different. So his mindset now is thinking differently. Mm. So sometimes you've got to take them people out of that environment because our environment is very hostile. But you've stayed in the environment, Yeah, bro. and that's what I learned. And you've so, changed. There you go. So what, what I started so, learning, what I started doing is like, because my energy mm. is, it's, it's the energy you have around you as well. So I make sure I do people a certain way right. and I'm here, but I'm not here. So right. I, see, I've always known when to, like, see if you're in a party, I've always known when to duck out. Right. I'm that guy. I know you when to duck out. You duck out before the lights come on. I know when to duck out. Before it's the end. I know that I've always had that thing where I know how to duck out. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, like yeah, that now. Yeah. Like I know when to not be somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that's that's kept me in a good place. That's a skill though. That's what I'm saying to you. So I mean, everything's survival now. I've kept survival my survival mode. thing all yes, the time. I'm yes. always in survival mode. Always in it. I'm saying yeah. to you, so it's, it's understanding. Even till today? Even till today? Up to today. Up to today. Yeah. Even normal. Like even if I'm in corporate meetings, it's survival mode. Survival so I'm mode. seeing who the who the shark is in the meeting, like, well, that one looks like a shark, that one's a snake. Hmm. That one looks weary, that one looks deceptive. My survival skills, that's what the street's done for me. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that's got to Chris when you ask me what the streets have done. That's mm -hmm. just, that's what it's done for me. It's put me, it's made me learn about survival. And you couldn't learn that nowhere else. Nowhere else. Like yeah. I, I can I can read people so well. Mm -hmm. That's what the streets done that to me, because man's been around. I've had friends that are snakes, so I'm like proper my bedrooms that's in my house and they snake me. Okay. So when you've got when you've been through that, that's you can't get that nowhere else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's yeah, like you won't get that nowhere else, yeah. That's 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 like wow, like I've had my proper close bedroom snake me, like so when you've been in that kind of Thing, you're not going to learn it anywhere else and that kind of makes you think a certain way and makes you be prepared for certain things so i'm always prepared for stuff i'm saying to you when i go somewhere i'm prepared i'm saying to you and and it's just an, being an, um, analyzing and an, analytical of your situations mm. and that's that's why I'm, I'm like that all the time everywhere i go because you see the younger generation watching they're thinking they got 30 men right now and them same 30 men in 20 years are still going to be yeah, rocking no, no, that's mad is that yeah. is that is that that's, myth that's, that's a myth you know what it is yeah you've seen all all the crews because there's too much man and there's too much Ego. different egos mm. so what will happen mm. you'll be a man you know but you know what it is yeah he's he's got a vision in his head but right now he's broke so he just can't work on that vision yeah but he's got a vision that don't include you fam he's got a vision that don't include you you're with him every day but his vision don't include you and you don't even know that Yo, imagine you have a man every day, you know, and he's got a vision in his head and his he vision don't include you. But he's broke now, so he's just with you. But he's only because he's broke. When, as soon as he gets money, he's going to go on the vision that mm. he's always been thinking of. Mm. And that vision don't include you. And it don't include you. So the minute he gets, so, so now you've got to think now, if he gets a chance to get like 200 bags or 100 bags, and he knows that raw, he will take it from you because you're not in his vision anyway. Mm. So that's when he starts thinking, you're not my vision anyway, you're not you're my vision. So potentially your bridge that you've been rolling with, he could be it could be plotting on you. He could be plotting on you. And that's that's how the streets is. The streets is very dangerous. That's why you have to be very mindful who you keep around you because everyone's got their vision. Mm -hmm. And you know what is yeah, you can how you can find out these things that you can ask the right questions. See if you ask the right questions, you get the answers you need, you know. Mm -hmm. But we don't ask the right questions. Right questions. See if you ask your brethren the right questions, like, well, fam, what do you want out of this life? Where, where's where are you heading to? Yeah. He will start saying his vision. I don't think we do that enough, innit? And you, when he starts saying his vision, are you be like, that's not where I'm going? Yeah. So yeah, why are we yeah, rolling together, together, fam? Before, yeah. So why can't we're friends, fam? Yeah. We're rolling every day, but you're you, you're trying to go on. You're, you want to move to Canada and and with these people and do this, but so how come me and you are rolling then? That doesn't make no sense. Yeah. So what what am I here for? And what are you here for? What what, what would that you. person be here for? Is it protection? Is that's it numbers? So got, there you go. So they got to look at raw. Well, I'm kind of the man that. Everyone knows that it's on job. Yeah. So he's probably just around me for this. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. what you have to be very careful. And that's what a lot of youths don't understand. Like, you got some serious youths out there and they've got like around 15 plonkers around them. Mm. That's it. But if they mm. need him, mm. but then they, they're making money, they don't, they don't bust him, they don't give him no money. Like, they just mm. keep him around just because they need him around. And he's on job. Yeah, so the, 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 when, they, when they're going clubbing that, his phone rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when, yeah. when it's time to go clubbing, when it's time to go to any, like, anywhere where they can be vulnerable, they phone him. Mm. But when it's the meeting for money, how can they not phone you? Mm. So, you, so you can see, as in your friend group, you can kind of see certain things that's going mm. on. You can say, well, these men not phone me when it's to do with certain links and that. It's true. Like when you're not going to check your bedrooms, if you're from South, but when you go to check your bedrooms in West that are making money, you don't bring me. Mm. But when you want me, to, when you go to, do, when, when you go to another area, the pagans are there, you phone me. Mm. So you can, you can see you what's can going see. on. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. see what's going on. And that's yeah. what a lot of people, we don't see and we don't ask the right questions. And if yeah. we do, 
you, you start seeing that you can make changes. Yeah, yeah. If I said to you PDC started um, gang culture, would mm. I be lying or telling the truth? Yeah, we had a, we had a big influence. I mean, it started, but we had a big influence on it. And we also started a thing that also could have, affect, um, could have affected a, a thought process in some of the young youths. So that's why you see me also working hard because I believe in karma as well. Okay. So I'm also someone that we also, even though we've done good, mm. we also did affect a lot of um, lives as well, you remember. So you got to think that how much people saw us doing stuff, did not mm. understand. Like that break that I was told you about, mm. I'm doing stuff, I'm, I'm get, I might be getting, I might have done a robbery, but to invest into business. Right. They didn't know about the business. Right. They just heard about the robbery. Right. So they're going to follow the robbery. The robbery, yeah, yeah, they yeah, didn't, yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. So I could have sent, by me just doing that and having a big representation, um, a reputation in my area and the youths following me, I could have sent like all 20 youths jail without even knowing. Mm. I'm saying to you, mm. they, that could have matched their whole family structure, their whole life. Mm. So I got to take some accountability on that as well. Mm -hmm. Because these people are following me religiously. Like anything I do, like if, if I, at the time, if I wear certain trainers, they all wear the yeah, same trainers. The same trainers so when I started seeing things like that in the hood, you know, I'm saying, raw. This is dangerous, fam. Crazy. This is dangerous. Like, I'm saying to you, I remember one time um, there were some jackets with like some goggles and that, and all yeah, of us wore yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. the PDC had them on, fam. Yeah. yeah. When I, I swear down, I went out into the streets, I saw everyone wearing the goggles. I said, wow. Trendsetters. That's a scary thing, though. So I was like, well, we got to be. I understood that. Mm. I was saying, well, you know, we got to be careful how you use that because mm. there's going to be karma to that as well. Mm. I was saying to you, so a lot of youths was going out and just, just doing badness, mm -hmm. but off of the back of what I'm pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's why I've always understood that, yeah, we did, we, we did also contribute to a badness as well in the, in the, in the, in the gang and um, estate culture, especially in London. Hmm. And all around, I get messages from men in Newcastle and everything, and they, they said they started their crew off of the back of PDC. Impact is impact, bro. That's what I'm saying, so the impact, so you know sometimes, yeah, so I've always been aware of that and I'm mindful of that. Hmm. And that's why I also make sure that I put in the work to, not to change it, but to also contribute back to people that can help. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people would yeah. say, Jaja's still in the hood. Jaja's yeah. still in Brixton. To, He's got his studio in Brixton. To, yeah. I don't see that by many people, but yeah. a lot of people get their money, they branch out, yeah, they cut, yeah, out. cut out. You're still here. Yeah. If PDC, if everybody was still functioning and about now, mm. would, what kind of impact would they have on the game, do you think? Um, it would be massive. Like would music massive. wise, yeah. the music game. It would, it would be massive. So um, and even, when, even when Nothing Man was rapping, they didn't believe it themselves. Mm. Yeah, so there's man that's saying to me that well, I even, they just said this, they just thought it was a hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's got memo. It's mad. We're rapping, and we got money yeah. already. Yeah. So it's mad in it. So imagine labels, labels giving certain man twenty bags or whatever. But we've already got twenty bags ready. Already. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it's mad yeah, in it. Like, yeah, like yeah. one man's got twenty bags ready. Mm. Man's got watches and chains on before the before the. Did you not get deals offered to you like in yeah, your peak time? I got one. No, we didn't get. We were, they were they were we were their worst nightmare. But I got some deals offered to me. But there was I understood business, so it didn't make sense. Okay. And then remember, that's what I'm saying. When A and Rs are coming to me and they're saying like thirty grand and twenty grand that, but I already got thirty grand and twenty grand and all that. So I was like, fam, that's some lick on my money. Mm. At the time, yeah, you know money. That's yeah, why. I knew I know yeah, money, so know it, was, money, yeah. it was mad. But what I didn't, that's but also lack of education. I could have still done business with them, but mm. because of the ignorance and where I come from, I didn't. I just was like, that's a joke thing. Yeah, yeah, so I, yeah, I did yeah. lose out as well on a lot yeah. of things because I didn't understand the business game. It's chess. I'm saying to you, sometimes you've got to use their platforms as well mm -hmm. just to get, get what you need out of yeah. it. And, and I didn't understand that, so I also lost out as well. I'm saying to you, so that's what it was. A lot of us, we, 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 we was the first, we was like the first one, like the, one of the first ones to go out there like in like doing those kind of things from his state rap. So I was uneducated in certain departments. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand, mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, so yeah, that's what it was. And what, um, you see like why, to change up a little bit, like of who you are as a person, like, what was your health like back then? Was you a smoking man, drinking man? Yeah, I was. I stopped smoking when I was like 21. And For real? Yeah, I, but get what is it? I started smoking, yeah, when I was like 10. 10? Yeah. Weed or cigarettes? Weed. weed. I was smoking at 10, 11 in secondary school. I was the first year. I was mm. burning weed, straight. Straight. Straight, burning weed, straight away, straight. I was burning from like 10, 11, straight, burning weed, heavy, cess. Do you know what's mad? Skunk was on call. Mm. I keep telling people, I say, see when I was growing up, yeah. you could not be in a block and bring out a bag of skunk, fam. Man will bad you up, bro. Like, what are you doing with that? Dash that. That's a joke, man, thing. Remember, no one did smoke skunk them days. That was what was a, it? What was it? Ash? It was, it was cess. It was straight cess. And yeah. then you, you had like, 
some people smoke commercial weed that was like commercial weed, yeah, but you yeah, had yeah, most yeah, man yeah. obsessed with a little block, a little yeah, block yeah, obsessed, yeah, pressed yeah, yeah. straight from yard, yeah, mad. Yeah. That's what everyone was smoking. That's the that was a big man thing. I'm saying to you, and then the, the, um, the white guys who smoke ash and skunk. Mm. That's what I'm saying to you. So mm. man, sometimes people used to have a little ash in it, but skunk was a joke, man. Thing. Yeah, Skull yeah, skunk. Yeah. You could never bring out skunk with a man there. No. Man will br- bro, your man will brush with the block. That's how. That's it's mad. Skunk bus yeah, in mm. the late. The, towards the end of the, the end of the night, the end of like coming to two thousands. Yeah, I remember the white widows, etc. Thank you. About that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, that's yeah, when yeah. that's when it started coming, like, coming back, like coming back yeah, into yeah, that yeah. scene where man was yeah. smoking. But yeah. before that, that was a joke, man. Man wasn't smoking that, and so it just shows how the changes were happening. That's yeah. when man was around. I saw the whole change happening. So the smoking and drinking. I was in like, you gotta remember when we was like when man was making money when we was young, we were mm. teenagers. Mm. Like, I'm in raves. Like I'm supposed to be. I got school the next day. I'm in leisure lounge in Peckham. And I'm, I got school the next day. I'm 13. Yeah, I'm, I'm in 13 in like, in Versace like now. I'm in Versace like 13 and I got school the next day. I used to, what we used to do, yeah, um, we used to go out, there, there was like, where Lazy Don was, there was like some little houses around the corner. I used to put my bag in some bushes, my, mm. my school uniform in it. Yeah, And then no we up raving, yeah. come out in the morning and then go go to school. Pattern up and go. Go pattern and go to school. I'm saying to you, that's that's how man was living. It was it was fast and reckless. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, how it was. It was, a, it, was a, it was a whole reckless. Did thing. you enjoy the life when it was like that, fast and reckless, or the, was it was it time, dangerous? I just thought that, that's all. It, I thought that's how it was supposed to be. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's yeah. what I'm saying to you. It's only later yeah. down the, the line that I realized that what well, man was living a madness. Mm-hmm. Like, man was in certain raves. Like, I know a lot of the big man them and a lot of the big MCs like Jumping Jack Frost, Creed, and all that. From them see me in the rave and I'm looking at me like. How the hell is this look of you in the in the place? Why is he in the, how did he get that's in there? That's crazy. And that's how I know most of the big man them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will from say, being out from young. They will say, nothing will say, yeah, I saw Jaja in there. He wait, how did he, I don't even know how he got in there. Yeah, yeah. I'm in there, fam. I'm in there fully, bunny my weed. I'm with the big boys, chilling. I'm with bubbling, I'm saying to you. And I'm, that was the that was the vibe of that time. That's just how it was, I'm saying to you. So I learned to drive. It's mad. I learned to drive in... My mum had a car, took the keys, you know, mm. raggle when she was sleeping. <laughs> took her keys, yeah, she had, a, she had a blue Ford Escort back yeah, in the days, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me and my brother Link Cluffy, we took the keys. Yeah. I took the keys, went to Link Cluffy, and I, I learned to drive on the road, fam. That first time driving? On the main road. Yeah, Like, yeah, stopping yeah. on the road, rowdy. That's how I learned to drive, you know. Savage. That's crazy, fam. Where rowdy. you get your bravery from, bro? Bro, that's just how a man was, I don't that's know what it was. was. Man just was like that. It was, and it wasn't even, I just thought that was normal. I thought that man was, everyone was doing this. Like, it was, this is how we was, we're boys, innit? Like, so it was fun as well, remember? Because mm. we're young, mm. so it's fun. So mm. that's how it was. And that's the same to you. And then that comes into the next thing with the film. That's how we're going to document in certain things. Like, because yeah. it it's, a, it's a whole journey. It's a whole journey. And, I've, and I think with the streets, one thing, my, my concerns was always the streets was mm. the fantasy thing that everyone's got. Where it's like, this, um, why I always know there's not a lot of real people out here. There's a small percentage, but a lot of people, because... A lot of people are living their fantasy, like a lot of rappers, a lot of films. The, the films that come out, it's like it's like it's like everyone living a fantasy kind of thing. It's not real right, life because right. everyone always highlights. Like, say if there's one thing that's important that I always say the jail thing. In mm. when everyone's about jail, everyone's about everyone going jail, going jail, smacking someone up, coming out, and that's it. I'm like, fam, jail's traumatic, fam. I traumatic. see man in jail crying, fam. Yeah, 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 I yeah. see man in jail wounded, bro. So I'm saying, raw. How come no one not tell that story? How come it's always glamorized? And I'm saying, what? Well, like, I see man in jail. I saw shooters in jail hurt, fam. Mm. Like, I, they, I got friends that went in when we was like 15 and never came out. They went to mental institutions and they've never come out, bro. They've never come out, bro. Like, that's they're crazy. in, bro, they're in there, they're in that Broadwater farm and all that. They're gone. They came yeah. from, the, that's from Feltham, you know? They went into Feltham and never came never out, came bro. Out. Never came out. Up to this day, they never come out. They went into Feltham at 15, 16, and we ne- they never came back on road. And they only went in jail for like three years, no, like a three-year sentence or two-year sentence, and they've never come back out. What was it? Too much for them? Just... Too much. I'm saying to you, they're, 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 they're in, they're in felt, and they went fighting. They're mm. going K2, mm. beating up screws. Then they just, the stress gets to them. They end up yeah. on the medication unit. Mm. Then from there, they go end up in them, them, um, them Broadwater farms and them kind of yeah, places, yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, they're just, yeah. They're, that's it. Then I've never seen them again. I'm saying to you, only a few phone me, and they phone me, and like. I got one of my brothers for me and he's talking about like like seeing Jesus and I'm like, raw, like he's just like, yeah, Jesus, I'm in my soul with Jesus, I'm in my soul, and it's like, raw, it's disheartening to get me, like it's sad. I'm saying like I grew up with these people. Yeah. And it's just that that's that happens a lot of time and it's like, well, how come no one speaks about that? And that's mm. why that's what I'm saying to you, and I, I don't mm. rate that, like, how come no one speaks about the real stories? Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, realness yeah. I'm saying to you, like yeah. that's what I'm um looking when I'm getting to the film, that's what I want to start showing, the mm. real story, because that's why the kids, a lot of them was um, 
swayed and because they, it was always highlighted with glamorous. Yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah, I'm saying to him, yeah. it's not glamorous. No, it's a glamorous. It's not yeah, glamorous, man. Yeah, man is, yeah. Man's going jail, coming out of hench, and that's, that's, man thought that was it. That wasn't it, fam. A lot of men used to love jail just for Ooh, that one reason. It's mad. crazy. That's what I'm saying to you. It's yeah, mad. Like, I said, yeah. nah, bro, it's mad. Like, I see man when I was in Owlsbury mm. and the next door neighbor committed suicide. Like, some you, the white you committed suicide, like, hang himself in a cell. I'm saying, well, fam, it's them story, that's what's happening there. Like, man's traumatizing there. Like, serious thing. Mm, and that's what's, about. Not that's not what getting talking about. That's not getting spoken about. Yeah, yeah so yeah, then that's yeah. happening up to this day. There's people in jail now going through a madness. The young youths in there now stress. Mm. Stress, fam, stress. Because they bought, they thought the story was like, stab, stab someone up, mm. go jail, come out the man. Oh, yeah. And then they go there and realize, well, you got 16 years and you're in some dusty cell. And it's not what you thought it was, bro. No one ain't patterning you up. And it's not in the movies, no. You see the movies when man goes Joe, it says, it says 10 years later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a man coming out of hedge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. You, you got, got to do the 10 years. Fam, you got to do one minute, two <laughs> yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. You got to do the 10 years, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and Facts. And uh, people don't forget that. Bro, and that's what I'm saying to you. And that's what I think a lot. That's what, so that's where I come into like, nah, nah, we got to try telling the story. Yeah. I'm saying to you, I think that's, that's I think um, even with rapping or. Um, through podcast or through um, film, I think that story is the real story that got stopped coming out coming for out, yeah. for the respect that we needed, especially yeah. in the street culture, to yeah. be taken serious. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think those those stories need to be told. And I feel like that's why you're here today, bro. Because regardless of whatever you was popping in, you're still popping now because you're still relevant. Mm. Now. You're putting out books. Talk to us about yeah. the film, bro. A little piece. Yeah. What can you oh, tell us, film, bro? Yeah, the film's gonna be a madness. So the film. What's yeah, this? The PDC film, film or the Jaja Soul film? Jaja, or? Basically, what is yeah? It's that the film's centered around my life from when I was young, to, to from Birmingham to London, and okay. obviously it centers around the whole of the PDC, how it come together, how yeah. basically tells a story. Cold, cold. But it's gonna be cold. It's a it's a deep story. It's not gonna be like no, because everyone else thinks it's gonna be some high some high hype and all that shooting. It's not gonna be like it's a deep story. It's gonna be a deep one like. Yeah. Proper story, so yeah, yeah, that's that's where the stories come. It's coming from a proper angle, not like no joke angle, mm -hmm. yeah, like, like no highlighting. Because a lot of the stuff was, it was man, we was we was living we was living a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like it wasn't for we didn't think people was watching. Remember, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're just do we're just living normal. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like we're gonna do this because of this. Mm -hmm. We're doing it because that's what man man's are surviving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a lot yeah. of it was the yeah. survival. Yeah. When man's making songs. Like I told people today, like I say, when people say that, that um, one of my mixtapes was called "I'm not a rapper, I'm a revolutionary," because I I wasn't I used to, I was just wouldn't want to rap. I just rap. My, I'm like a diary. I literally just wrote what like. Yeah. So if I have a bad year, I'm gonna that's, my music's gonna show it. But that's so why I, you kept it real to you. That's just me. I'm, yeah. I just literally write about what's going on. That's mm -hmm. all I can do. So I'm saying to you. So mm -hmm. where some rappers, some people are more skilled. They're writing the metaphors, and yeah. that's they, that's that's cool. And they 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 could be better than me. Everything, but I'm just writing about what I know. Yeah, yeah. that's I just write about. That's all I've always done. It's a diary, and that's 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 how I've seen music for me mm -hmm. personally. And it's just that's mm -hmm. just my journey. I'm saying yeah, to you, that's yeah, just how yeah. I am. I just write my own journey, and I think that is a key thing in what we're going to show in the film. Like just it's, it's it was a journey. It wasn't. It's not a hype. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, it's a journey. Like I met people genuinely. Like all the people I met, I met you genuinely. I met yeah. everyone genuinely. I'm yeah. saying to you, yeah. I met all the man them genuinely. genuinely. I'm saying to you, yeah, I met gigs genuinely. I met everyone through different like, genuinely. Mm -hmm. I'm saying mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. I'm saying to you. So that's just like, oh, it's real. It's gonna show certain um, beefs that like what man had and, and in, the, in the proper way, right. not in the gassed up way. It's right. like it's, right. it's deeper right. than yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna show. It's, not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, gonna be a serious I'm thing. I'm happy that you're doing that because I want to see more people doing that and telling their stories and putting it on screen. Is yeah. that something? Something that will come this year or next year? Yeah, so year what we're doing is we're filming, we're starting filming the end of this year because obviously we've got the COVID thing and all that, so a lot of things are slowing down. So, yeah. so we're, yeah, we're scheduled to start filming this year and, mm -hmm. and yeah, so hopefully we're looking to get, it'll be out in the next like, probably like year and a half, two years. Take that's your time coming out. That, yeah, I'm saying to you. So it's Take gonna your be, time. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. You got a name for it yet? Or you... Mark, you oh, yeah, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, but you know, that's bro and yeah, yeah. you get me. So you stopped smoking at 21. Yeah. You're vegan now. Yeah, no, I'm yes, I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, so You're I, vegetarian I grew now. up vegetarian. You grew up I as grew a vegetarian. Veg yeah, that's and, you. and for yeah. your whole life, I've kept yeah, that. Yeah, so no, what? Then I, when I come to London, I started slipping. Yeah, what now? Which was why I asked you. When yeah. I come to London now, boom, mm. I come. I remember being with the man there, and then boom, I remember the day, fam. Man said, "Yeah, go chip shop," and I'm like, "Yeah, come go." Chip. And the man saying to the man, "Yeah, sausage batter and chips." Like, what's all that? You get me? Yeah. Like, what's all that? Man said, yeah, man wants this and man wants that. And so obviously, after that keep happening, yeah, mm -hmm. I start saying, well, let me get a sausage and batter and chips as well. Let me get this and let me get this. And I started like buying into the thing I'm saying to her. So yeah. I started eating chicken yeah, and I started yeah, yeah. getting back into yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I started yeah. eating the fuckeries and yeah. 
that just that just I kind of just started getting back into who I was around, my environment, fitting into it, and then when I got to like twenty one, it's mad. When I got to twenty one, yeah, I felt like. I was a grown man. Mm. Like yeah, I, I had, because I started so young, mm. I thought that mm. I was just a big man. Yeah. It was mad. I was thinking, wow, I was ready to retire. You've done, you done a lot early, bro. That's why, so that's why people, when I was at 21, I was saying I'm stopping that. Man, look at me like, what? How? Man, just, certain man just starting, even to come outside. Yep, yep, yep. Certain so man just facts, come outside. Facts. So certain man just started coming facts. outside, let alone stop, stop smoking. smoking weed. So I'm, stop, I'm stopping to do loads of stuff. Man's like, bro, what's judge on? Like, I'm stopping loads of stuff because I feel like I've done everything already. Is that your mindset when you stop smoking? What's your mindset when you stop smoking? What's, what's you know making it was you do yeah, that? I was, you know it was, yeah, at the time when I stopped smoking, um, yeah, there was like, there had a couple, there was a couple of little beasts, and I had a couple of little things happen, but I was getting paranoid. Right. And I was thinking, right. wow, so I was, and I'm, I'm a deep thinker already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm a deep yeah, thinker, and then. Yeah, yeah. It was, just, it was just getting too much, I'm saying it was getting too much. I was like, right, no, I missed cut down the weed. And also, it was making me get a bit lazy. So I needed to, I needed to be, say I'm like thinking 75% sharp. I need 100% sharp. Yeah, 100% sharp. I can't chance it. Where my environment that I'm in and what I want to do, I can't chance just having 75% mindset. Mm. I need 100%. Mm. So mm. if that means mm. sacrificing smoking and drinking and doing certain things, then I'm going to do that. And that's what I've done. I just stopped doing certain things. I stopped going raving and everything for a hot minute. I cut out loads of stuff. And then I went back jogging, and then the second time when I come out, it was like, I just felt like I was going to retire. And I was like, how? Like, you're, you're just, you're, you're young, you're 25 or something, like, what are you doing? But I, I felt like I just lived the whole, a whole, already whole done, life. Yeah, you've, been, you've done yeah, the lap already. Mad. Yeah, so it was, it was a man for me, like, yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah, a man. Yeah. And, then, and then it's mad on the streets, man. I had, like, there were certain beasts, like, friends died and all certain sort of things. So, see, on the streets here, yeah, it's mad. You could have, like... You can have ten fights, you know, win them, mm. and have two that you lose, mm. and everyone talks about the two the that loss, you lose. Of course. So everyone says, yeah, but you got beat up by Tony. Yeah. You got beat up by Tony, but fam, I had like a ten I, fights. Yeah, I was undefeated. And I, and I was undefeated, yeah. fam. Yeah, and yeah, then the two yeah. that I got, that I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to lose sometimes, like, and that's what I think. The streets don't. That's just that's if you buy into that, you will you will be keep trying to impress the streets. The streets won't champion your success. They won't champion. They'll glorify your losses. Your losses. Yeah, so that's yeah, what I was yeah. seeing. I was saying, well, yeah. so I had to be careful when I was coming to the road and that. Yeah. And I remember there were certain situations that I had to like, I had to think deeply. You know, like I, there were certain problems that was happening between friends and that certain friends died and it's all mad and that. It's, it's like it's when it's in house, it's hard. Mm -hmm. So it's like raw. You gotta take an L and certain things and say, no, this one, I'm, t I'm sitting back on this one. Right. And then when, when the streets are gonna look at it, it's like, well, he's not doing nothing though, he's mm. dead moist now. Mm. But you gotta take it as well. I'm gonna take an L now to win in the future. Okay. I'm saying to you, so yeah, act yeah. That, that, those decisions there can make you, can make you or break, break you. you. I'm saying to you, so mm. it's, that's a lot of, that's the things I had to learn because it was hard at the time, like, raw. And you hear rumors like, well, but judges, judges in the office now, them and they, them and are soft now, them and are rare, rare, rare. Like, that's always and the narrative. Remember, that yeah, that, that, that's the, when, you, when, mm. when, when you're hearing that, you know, and you're like, raw, and you know you're a serious character, mm. but you're hearing that, you know, mm. so it's like, raw, you, you just want to go and get your team and go on the road and go, wow, and, go and, wild. Just, and get everyone. Yeah, but yeah. then you, you say, well, nah, the vision is too important. The long-term vision is too important. So mm. you know what, I'm going to take it L now. Mm. I'm going to take it L now. You don't can say all that now, mm. but hear what? See when I win, you're gonna say something else. You're gonna say something yeah, else. Yeah, I'm saying yeah, to you. Yeah, so now yeah. when I'm people are seeing when they saw me have like my business popping off and it's all like I got some distribution thing about to come out soon. I got films coming. Sick. I got books. They're Sick. like, oh, that's what that's that's dicey. The vision. The vision's bigger than that. That little L there. Do you feel that you're getting your respect? That yeah, you I, deserve. Do you know what it was? Yeah, I don't. I just want my vision. I just want to be worked on my vision. Mm. I don't really care about the respect. Okay. I don't really care what people think. Mm. I think that's what's helped me grow. Mm -hmm. Like not really caring. That's I care more about the vision than the platforms. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, and my contribution. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I care yeah, more for the yeah, contribution yeah, yeah. than getting respect from people. That's a humble answer, bro. That's that that, that lets me know, lets me know a lot about you as a character. You yeah, know what I'm saying to say that. That's just how I am. I don't really like what that is what it is. Like people come and go. Like I'm not really, I, I, did, I didn't start. I didn't start my journey with these people. Yeah. Care, what, what they cared about. I didn't care. Like yeah. I was just living. Yeah. So I'm like that. I'm just living. I'm just going forward and, and making a great contribution to this world, to to the life we're living in. And that's that's just how I am. I don't care what everyone thinks. Did you have discrepancies in the scene that made it harder for man? Like, was there any certain times that made it like? Can you remember a certain time that made it just life harder for you? Like. Trying yeah. to come through, cause you lot was trying to come through yeah. the music, thing, yeah. right? But that yeah. was 
it was hard like, for what's me. What's the like, aim? One of the times it was hard for me that this would live, this one not my breaking point when I lost loads of money. I done a business deal and I lost all my money. I saw my bank account go to zero, fam. I think I heard you say this. Bro, yeah. see yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. See when? See that? Yeah, that that hit me on another level, bro. I'm bro, because see, usually when you're broke. I'll go and do a, a robbery You know something. how to do something. To, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, you see yeah. when, you're not, when you're not doing that no more, yeah. it's like, raw. Now, yeah. I've got to, now I've got to think. Yeah. Now, so now I'm in a different war game. Mm. Now I've got, to, I've got to go back to the book, strategize, I have to think, I have to replan. So remember, I'm starting again from scratch, but without, it's like starting again from, without no money though. Like, raw. And it's mad, and then you still got this big represent, reputation to uphold. Mm. And you got all these people that are looking up to you. Yeah, expecting you to be in the And they're saying, well, Judge. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Judge, yeah, like, yeah, what's yeah, happening, what's Judge? Good, yeah. I'm like, raw. Like, raw, Judge, the man in my low, like, what's good? I'm like, raw, shit. And then I'm low. I'm saying to you, so it's mad. At that, that time there, that was one of the most hardest points for me hmm. to, to get through. I'm saying to you, that was a hard, a hard, hard, hard. And it took me, that took me like around five years to bounce back. There's a time when people probably just didn't see Jad. That was yeah, that was the time. He was grafted. I had to, was... I had to go back in yeah. and graft. And yeah. I'm saying to you, and I grafted back out. I'm saying to you, I grafted, grafted, and bounced back. Boom, studio coming off that. Loads of things started happening again. Mm -hmm. But that mm -hmm. hit for me was one of the hardest. That one thing. So that I that's when you realize like this is not no joke out here. Yeah, yeah this is not no yeah. joke. That's when I realized that okay, I was living the fast the fast life is easy. See, but when you're doing, when you're growing up and you're doing things strategically and, and properly, it's a different war game. The money lasts longer. When, yeah. When you, when you the, strategize. When you're, when you're strategizing, mm. things you, you you respect what you're doing better. Mm. Same to you. So now when I'm spending, it's a different war game. Now it's a whole different war game. So when I'm buying yeah. something now, like yeah. I have to look at it properly. Yeah. See, when I'm doing something now, it's different. Yeah. It's different. It's not like before. Before I didn't care. Yeah. You can't make that snap decision. Now I'm getting that. Now, now yeah, I can't yeah, snap yeah, decision. Yeah, now yeah, I yeah. think about it for like long, like well. I mean, I love, I love motorbikes, I love cars, I love nice things and that. So, mm. but I have to think about it now. So if a new motorbike comes, I'm like, mm, mm. let me take a little think about it for a little bit. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Well, do, I need, do I really need that right now? Yeah. I don't really need it right now. So let me just wait for that. Is that the struggles in being independent? That's with independent. When you're independent, you have to be mindful of what you're doing. Because remember, yeah, you, mm. you could damage yourself. Mm. When you go... Now I've felt mm. being, I've had a lot of money, then got yeah. broke. Yeah. So yeah. I've, I've understood it. So yeah. now yeah. when you're back up now, you're like, okay, now you've got to be very careful because you mm. don't want to go back into that place again. Because you, you mm. don't want to be poverty driven, no trust way. me. Yeah. So that, yeah. that yeah. thing yeah. that I'm saying to you, so yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what makes me understanding. So yeah. I started going, that made me, I've always wanted to learn, but I started learning about marketing, advertising, branding. I started understanding and learning the business properly. Mm. I'm saying to you, and that just made me go down a whole different road. So the friends that you had back then, are you still cool with certain men today? Yeah, I'm, I'm some, the, some of them. Yeah, the some percentage of them. Your numbers lower. So, so it's like it's mad when you grow up and, and, and you're like brothers with people. It's mm. like it's that one where you can be away from them for like five, ten years, and right. because you're allowed, because you're brothers in it. It's, and it's when like, you see him at tomorrow, the love's the same. Still the same, yeah, the same yeah, to you. Yeah, but yeah, all yeah. it is, yeah. your vision is different from mine. But it's just yeah. not because you didn't do nothing bad to me. I can't. I'm, there's no bad blood. Right. But we just got different visions. But right. all the main man, them like my main brothers, we speak, we message all the time. If I don't see them for like a year or something, they'll message me like, judge, I was everything, family. Bomb. Yep. So we're still in contact. Yep. Some of the men them I don't speak to because yep. they was on. Some of the men them was on a. Um, they wanted to be bad boys forever, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's only a certain way. Some of them are learning the hard way now, and mm -hmm. they, they I know they they watch things like this and be like, "Raw, I need to hold that judge," yeah. because what he was he was saying this a long time yeah. ago, and the bad boy thing just goes just just go jail. Yeah, that's. What... You, you just go jail for long, that's or you just end up a bum. You just end up a bum on the, on the road and telling everyone your old school war stories. Mm. And the young youths look at you like, bro, shut up, man. Man, no one hear about that. Man, mm. I'm trying to make money, bro. You're telling mm. about some war story from 1982. Do you care about being relevant like that? Mm. Like when people talk on street gangs, when people talk on who's nah. with it, do you care about I, being nah. mentioned? Or? I don't, I, I just, I just, I just want to, my contribution, I just want to keep contributing. And I think when you contribute and you just keep contributing and doing good and you have good energy, mm. I think that speaks for itself. I'm saying to you, I think that just speaks for itself. We just do good and you build. Yeah. So I, the, um, the, all the things that I want to build in the platforms, mm -hmm. they will be here longer than me. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's all. That's what I'm, I'm good with. Like that can help. If even though I'm not here, and not speaking about me, but I'm helping like a thousand youths without me being here. That's that's level. But you know one thing that is a fact. I think any man that or woman that sees you on this screen, bro, are gonna know why you're here because, mm. bro. I can't give you enough flowers, bro. Like yeah, for no, somebody that's come from where we've come mm. from, you're still here today. Mm. Books, movie. Yeah. Huh? I don't think. I don't think. My opinion. Mm. Um, 
Have we seen a stronger movement than PDC 2021? I don't know, bro. Nah, I'm saying to you. Do you understand yeah. that? I don't know, bro. You yeah. lot had crazy rappers in that. Yeah. Crazy yeah. guys yeah. that are known on yeah. the streets yeah. Yeah, for lot. being stand-up yeah. guys. So there was a lot of stuff. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, the family unit was strong. Cause strong. I was, also, we had like, because of that affiliation with the 28s and affiliation mm -hmm. with other crews, when yeah. we had affiliation with like the Brum, the Brum town with his burgers, Johnny's and, yeah. 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 and yeah. then the North, the North Mandem and East. Like, there's a lot of connections as well. So that's what kind of made it more like, wow. All those connections are organic. All, all organic. organic, all organic, all through mad. Like, like I've, met, I've met man in like real situations. So mm -hmm. anyone that talks about Jaj will say, fam, I met Jaj like this and it was, they, they'll tell a whole story. Mm -hmm. It was like a, in an in a, um, organic environment, mm -hmm. a real environment. Or one of their bosses or elders introduced us. Right. And the person that they introduced us is 30 so on another level. So they all, they all, the, this, the levels is, is, is straight. And that's how a lot of people know. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of people, I met a lot of people from jail when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, so a lot of 30 men them from different areas was in jail in like the, night, the early 90s, mid 90s. Mm -hmm. And I met a lot of 30 men them from that time. I'm saying mm -hmm. to you, a lot of the 30 men them. And then obviously, you got men them from the road that obviously that, you know what is, a, a lot of men them that, you know when you just, some men I've met yet, I didn't know them personally, I didn't have no affiliation with them, but they heard of me and I heard of them. Mm. You know, when you see a man, he's like, yeah, I, I know you. You, you can tell your hat to a man because that's what I'm saying to yeah, you. You're not a salute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I know. Certain men that I know <laughs> have, have, have bigged you up. Yeah. And then he's thinking the same thing like, wow, then certain men big up. So yeah. We salute. Yeah. That's a street thing. That's we fact. know. So the certain men that know how what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a salute. That's fact. So there's certain men I met from the salute. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, they don't they, well, judge. I've seen them out and they're like, straight away see me, bare ratings, mm -hmm. I'm rating them back. And we've met because that's a certain thing. Mm -hmm. That's the respect levels. I'm saying mm -hmm. to you, I real recognize real. I'm saying to you, so there's a lot that's of men that I've met like that as well. And they, I know they're certain. They know I'm certain. And we've met. And then after that, we spoke. And it's just mad respect. They've always shown love. I'm saying to you, so that, that's just how it is. I'm, I'm a man that's like that. I'm not mm -hmm. really in, in the mix up. Mm -hmm. I just want, I just like, the, I like when man's doing good and I see man doing good. I'm, I love that. I love them. I love when I see the youths them doing good. I love that the most, man. So I, how, uh, how do you feel when you hear, like, I hear it, like, I don't know if you hear it. I hear, like, there's a narrative out there that, you know, Brixton's so divided that, you know, yeah. it once used to be a place of everybody was together, but yeah. it's so, does Jaja Soul sometimes mm -hmm. sit in his yard and feel like I can chat to this corner and that corner and yeah. try and pattern, or is I, it I can. out of your hands? I can. No, I can. I can. I can. I can. I believe some things can be not squashed, but they can be arranged and sorted out where it's not as bad as it can, as it is. Even if maybe there's deaths on either side. Yeah, I think that you know it's yeah, you know it's yeah. See with see as you go old, as things go old, like if there's certain things in place, and then see if people are like occupied and building and doing stuff, and they're taken away from certain environments that can change their mindset. Right. They're saying to you, so right. it, doesn't, it doesn't dead the beef, but mm. it just puts you in a place where... You're not looking for a man no more. You're not looking for a man. If I see a man, maybe it's different. Mm. But hear what, right now, I'm in Brazil mm -hmm. doing this big house project, like, mm -hmm. and he's in Gambia somewhere doing a project, so we're probably not going to buck each other for mm -hmm. so. And after a while, that kind of slows down. So there's ways, I think, things like that are, you can do that, you can achieve. Mm. And in the hood, I just believe that there's, there's, do you know what is there, there's, there's also elders behind the problem that are gassing up the young young people as well. Like, see, sometimes you have elders that wasn't really about that life mm -hmm. in the time that they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So now they're busting in this time with the young youths. They feel like they need to be that boss thing and they're gassing the youths up. Like, yeah, man, let's ride out, man. Yeah, man, I'm going to yeah. buy you bare mashes and we, we're going to do this thing. And they're trying to be that. They're a big man. Like, mm. why are you doing that for? I'm saying to you, but that's what's also happening. So it's another... It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a conversation that can, can, can happen. And I believe that it's just people like myself at the right time. There's going to be a time, and that's in my plans as well, to, to arrange things like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying to you, so there's, there's that, that's in, my, in the pipeline to arrange things like that. Cause I don't like it. And that's just not in Brooklyn, that's in any area. Mm -hmm. I think our communities mm -hmm. working together are much more beneficial if we work together. Together we're stronger, aren't we? Much more stronger. We, get, we can make more business. Yeah. Much more, um, we, have, we can set up better families and yeah. we can do a lot more stuff achievable in the community. Better ownership, a lot of stuff to, as we work as a unit. Mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, so that's, just, that's, 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 I think that's achievable. And that's one of my things that I want to work towards. Yeah, because I'll be honest with you, because there's going to be young kids doing the gangbanging thing, yeah? But then what about the stories that you hear? You hear two rivals that see each other 
but nothing takes place. Yeah. How does that filter down to the young kid that's coming up thinking it's gang, 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 ops, yeah. ops, ops, but then you're hearing the hierarchy in your thing yeah. sees another hierarchy, but nothing happens. Don't that, don't that paint a picture to them? Or ain't that supposed to show them that this yeah. thing can't be but you, 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 that think, deep you, yeah, to that's, an extent? That, that, that's, 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 that's if that's playing. happening. Yeah, like, that's, that, that, that is happening. Because we like, all know people see yeah, people. Loads of people see And, and people will make an excuse. It might not be an excuse, yeah. but oh, I couldn't do him nothing because I was with my Yeah, my and, 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 and that's what I'm saying to you. And that's, that's, the, that's what you're talking about. How serious is your beef then? Exactly. And that's what I'm trying to say. And I think a lot of the beef is like that. Mm. I think a lot of the beef is people gassing it up where you could it's, it's, you don't really want to beef. Mm. See a lot of people, see a lot of the people that even the younger generation now, a lot of them they didn't um they just started beef. Mm. Like there's areas here that there was no beef there. Like mm. if see now when I see they're from a certain area, I'm like, bro, that area wasn't they, they, there's no there was no rude boys in that area. Like mm. I'm like, bro, where do you Because like, you would know. Because the generation game. You so would I'm know. Saying, bro, yeah. who, who, there was no one from your area that was like doing any bad stuff. Like that area was nice. Mm. Like your mum would want to move from Capel and Brixton and Peckham to go to that area. Mm. So how did your area? I don't understand that. And so it's areas that people started creating problems. Right. A man from this area was creating problems with a man over there. Right. And so a lot of areas have created beef. Right. It's forced. Like right. well, we're from this end. We're gonna beef that end. Like it's, it's you. You proper like planned it. Mm -hmm. There's no like altercation. Mm -hmm. It was like. Planned beef, mm -hmm. and a lot of the young youngsters now they're in they're they're doing beef now, but that was planned, like created. Mm -hmm. It was not real, like organic. Something happened, a problem happened. It's, it's like right, you just like they're from that area. I'm not from this area. Let's go and get them. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. a lot of things that so that can change by a lot of the adults coming together and being visual and seeing that raw well, they're linking, but they're also doing business. See, a lot of things has to be see a lot of it has to be profit profitable. Mm. Yeah, people mm. have to see that stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like why? Yeah. Why have I stopped beef? Yeah. So if oh we're making money, oh that's that's all, that's all right. Mm -hmm. If we're making money, and I can change my family structure and help my mum and my, my sisters and, and my people. Then okay, maybe I might look into it. That's what I'm saying to you. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you're just telling the man to stop doing beef for no reason, mm. he's like, boy, this all I got, you know. To so somebody that's got nothing. He's like, well, I haven't got no money. Yeah. I got no family. All this, I know how to do is bang out. All I know how to do is bang out. Yeah, this, this, is yeah, my, yeah. this is how I get my. This is how I get my love. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Straight. You're telling me to stop my whole lifestyle. Straight. For what? Yeah, straight. And that's what. That's why. So I just told man, you can't just tell you to stop. You have to. You have to be some. You have to. There has to be something else mm. put them to the table as well. Mm. And I feel like nowadays, bro, with the younger generation, the older generation, people's like, what's an example? Um, what's the young boy's name? Um, his dad is one of your people. Then. Um. What's my man's name? The Harlem Spartan you um Lowski. Lowski, oh yeah, Nizzy, yeah, Nizzy. Ain't his dad's yeah, a yeah. friend of yours? Yeah, yeah that's my brother, that's PDC. That's PDC, yeah, that's what I'm so, to you. yeah. That's and that's you. a father to, yeah, that's what I'm saying a son, to you. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. So it's mad, I'm saying to you. So even from us, a lot of the young youths are out there now doing good. A lot of them are from their, their uncles or their dads or whatever. They're, they're from our But our what branch. I don't understand, not that I don't understand, mm. I get it, but let me play devil's advocate. It's like, cool, for example, this, the situation we just gave, mm. a man has his son, mm. his son's in the streets, doing very well with music. He's got problems, issues, mm. beefs. Mm. Now, how does his dad look on his son? Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. Because so, his dad knows best, because yeah, he was once upon a time exactly, in the field. Exactly, So I think his dad, in that situation, in that situation, not speaking on this one, but if you had a son in mm. the streets doing, doing stuff like that, the best way you can kind of help your son is by making him just progress. Just pushing more towards progress and progress, and then what happens again? If, say Lowski starts doing good and he's blowing up. Mm. You, you've got no time to be in the streets. Mm. That's time. a fact. You've and you time. can take some of your friends with you. There you go. So, so that's what I'm saying to you. If a man blows, a man's taking ten of his brothers with him, and they're all travelling to our Las mm. Vegas and that. Mm. They're not. Man, you got no time yeah, for them to run around, yeah, chase yeah, them yeah, and, yeah. and the bikes in their state. Man, yeah. you got no time for that. So. Yeah. It's the same thing, my son's getting big now, so same thing, if he starts going down that road and thinking he's going to wear his hoodie and start chasing him, I'm just going to say, well, what we're we doing? And we're focusing on what you want to do. Mm. And I'm going to make sure, instead of saying, well, don't do that, don't do that, I'm just going to focus so much on this, mm -hmm. that you have to mm -hmm. focus on this, because mm -hmm. this will make us money, and we're travelling, we're doing stuff, so mm -hmm. you got no time to chase guys on their bikes. Mm. And I think that's what the main thing is, that if a lot of the, a lot of the young youths just need to be refocused their energy. And we need to help them just refocus their energy. So they're focusing on, well, stop the beef, stop the beef, and that beef's petty. 
just focus on something that takes their attention away from all of that beef. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the best way. And money always and wins. Money wins. And that's yeah. being real. I told man straight, money wins. Man. If you can make someone change their life and put them in a comfortable position, mm. that now look, if man's in their, in their apartment in the sky, looking back at the state, man's saying, nah, the state's long. I ain't going there. Fuck yeah, that. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm nice up here. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. they want to see pagans. Yeah. Now, now you're living this life. You're trying to avoid when pagans. When you touch that life, because, bro, we've all, we've all seen it, bro. When people get that money, Rappers that never had money and then touch money, mm -hmm. their narrative always changes about you beef go. if you ask That's what them. They do. There you go. I ain't That's got time the, for that. They ain't got time for I'm that. I'm over here, over there, I'm getting money you. now. Man's flying out. Man's in so Dubai and all these places. Money does change your narrative. Money change your narrative straight. Because you you got you're busy. You're too busy. You got you got flights not to catch, you got flights, you got things, you got you, you meet new friends. Remember, mm. a man will go to like Las Vegas somewhere or, and then meet a new friend. Mm. And he's balling. Yeah. And he's like, you know what, we've got this big fiend project in New York. Now you're in New York. Now you're in different areas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got yeah, no yeah, time, yeah. bro. The, yeah, the man, yeah, yeah, the yeah. man over there, MC Killer in the in the state. That's your least your problem, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Changes the dynamics. It so changes. I mean, I could chat to you forever, bro. Because like I said, you're a pioneer in this thing, yeah, respect, and I say bro. that from my heart because uh, you're a stand up guy, bro. But um, is there anything that the public need to know? What's coming from your um, corner soon? Like, yeah, nice. No, the main thing. I know the we've film. Got, we've got the film. I've got a new book coming this year. I won't say too much of it, but it's going to be a big book. I'm okay. saying to you, yeah, this is a whole that. other level. This yeah. is another one's coming this year. Yeah. And that's the main thing, yeah. And then, yeah. The, the film whole, and the yeah, book. The film yeah. and the book, yeah. We've got a segment yeah, that we do called Govs on the Land, and yeah. it's a quick fire round question yeah. thing. Um, just try and answer them as quickly yeah. as you can. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, name a female rapper that you rate. Oh, shit, quickly. Um, oh, female rapper, female rapper. Uh, what's that one? Oh, I've got a name, man. Uh, I think she's from Birmingham or somewhere. Miss La Familia? Is La Familia? Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's got one track um, I like. Does Jaja Souls prefer to be single or in a relationship? Relationship. Independent or major? Independent. Name an artist that aired you when you was coming up. You might have reached out for a hook, a Who verse. Who aired me again? Who aired me again? Who's aired me? Quick, 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 quick. Um, Skepta aired me. Skepta? Yeah. And then he replied after, but he'll end me, end me, end me, end me, end me, end me, end me. Best producer for you? Um, best producer, best producer. Um, who's a good producer that I like? Oh shit, that's a sticky one. Um, okay, I'll be, you know who I speak to another day, so I'm just gonna be Carnes Hill, I'll speak to another day, so he'll come to my head, yeah. Best DJ? Best DJ, flipping heck, who's the best DJ? Um, DJ, he's a DJ over here. What DJ over here? <laughs> oh, I tell you who. I tell you who was cool with me. Master Steps. Cool. Yeah. Your two favorite artists right now. Oh like, Right now. Right now. Who are who are listening? Um, I've been listening to Odd Ads. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to. Who's I listening to the other day? Um, oh, what's his name again? Oh shit, these draw artists. Oh my days. Got his name. I never forget the remember the names. Okay, and I like okay, odd ads and then like nines. Oh, this nines is the other day as well. Who started UK rap? Who started UK rap? Fuck, you know, um for me it will be uh oh, what's that guy's name again? There's some there's some guys up from um books are coming the name though, but then obviously then Rod Rodney P, I would say big up Rodney P. Rodney P. Yeah. Um Judge of Souls' is best song today. Um my best song today will be Swords and Psalms. Swords and Psalms, yeah. Where, where can they find that? What's on that that's project? On, that's on, that's on, that's on, that's on, it's on my, one of my albums that I put out. It's on YouTube as well. It's on yeah, all the Because you've got like 10 projects yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You know me, I always, yeah, you know me, I always, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What football team you support, bro? No, I support football. You don't support no, a team? I don't, I just watch it though, but I don't support a team. No team. I don't know why if I was If young. you had to pick a team though. If I had to support, like right a team. now, like a team Shit. close to your heart or something or family. Oh, that's, I don't know what team I would support then. Um, I like to gas and I don't know what team. I don't know what team. I, um, you, wouldn't not, shit. you wouldn't pick a Birmingham. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't. You wouldn't stay loyal to Birmingham. You would, if you was in London, would you pick a Chelsea? Would if, you pick if, a Arsenal? If I was in, oh rah. A Man United. I can't even force a team. Rah, rah, rah. Judge you watch football. You, know, you watch football, but there's no know. team. There's no team. I don't know what team. Player. Is there a player okay, that you respect? Um, if Any football player, that you respect? If there's a player um, that you had to salute, which player? Uh, can be all time if you want. Don't matter. Error and all that. Uh, a player like all time. Mm. Ian Wright. It has to be yeah, Ian Wright. Ian Wright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Minister Society or Above the Rim? You gotta pick one of those films oh, if you have to watch. You're sitting down to watch. Like that, you know? Come on, bro. You know it's me. Raw. Um, 
You the remember about the rim, yeah? Yeah, Cut, about the yeah. rim. About the um, rim. Styles P or Gucci, man? Styles P. Who's the best rapper in Brixton? Raw, that's in Brixton. Who's the best rapper Last in question. Shit, um, last best rapper in Brixton. Best rapper in Brixton. Devious. Devious. Yeah, Devious yeah. is the best rapper in Brixton. You want to talk on DV? In a sense, you talk, communicate with him? I ain't spoken to you for the whole, t- the whole time he's been in, in Penn. Okay. He's wrote, we, wrote, we wrote a letter and that, so it's, it's been very brief, you get me? So, yeah, I've still got to speak to him, I we haven't spoken. What's yeah, your, your, that's just still your brother, still your dad? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still, we're always going to have a relationship. Obviously, done, obviously we, we fell out because of certain things. Not fell out, but he's done certain things I don't, and I don't respect him saying to you, but we're still, yeah, he's my brother. See, when you've got a brother, it's like, knowing him. You're going to have arguments see, and stuff. Yeah, it's like, you see, you've got a little brother and then he does, Say he does something, you might punch up your brethren or something, but you're mad with him. Right. So, but, you, but yeah, he's still yeah. your brother, though. Yeah, but you yeah. still might punch him up, but yeah. he's always your brother. That's how it yeah. is. That's how Divi's my little brother. So, it is, yeah. It mm. is what it is, yeah. You think we'll ever see, like, a rebirth of PDC, younger artists or something? You might see the younger ones, yeah. You might see younger artists. Come on, the PDC I think, brand? Yeah, coming on the brand, bro. Come, come in, because so we, we, there's so many platforms now, mm. we, we see young artists coming through. I think it's such, it's like a whole brand I've built now. So yeah. coming from that, with it's Brooks and Recording Studios, mm-hmm. or a PC Music Label, or just coming from that that platform, mm-hmm. you'll definitely see loads. There's, there's some come out from it already. Okay. The ones that everyone's seen, like like you got your M24s or your Sneevo, mm. or your art ads, and a lot of them have come through mm. uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, yeah, the platforms. Yeah. So a lot of them have come from the platforms. But will any of them ever come through and rep PDC again? Or we hear PDC being flagged? I wouldn't really that want f- that to happen. Okay. I think it's, it was a time. Mm-hmm. I think it was a time. I think anything after that is forced. Mm-hmm. And I think it just the time it was out of that's come mm-hmm. new brands. Mm-hmm. So out of PC now you got the Brooks and Recording Studios, you got new brands that come out of that yeah. platform. Yeah. So yeah. the new brands will be pushing or getting the highlighted for that. I don't okay. think coming back with the PDC thing is that I don't think that was that's a it's a good 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 move. It's too forced. PDC so, definitely in the history books for me. That's what they do, there you go. That's yeah. a friendly respect. Um, Judge of Souls, pioneer, legend, you get what I'm trying to say. Film coming, new book coming, blood, respect, love for coming true, yeah, no. keep inspiring us, respect, keep fam. keep winning. Know, and you know it's love, love every time, yeah. Fam, the landing, NFTR, like and subscribe. You're done now. <laughs>